everyone welcome back to my channel now today we're not going to be doing makeup we're going to be doing i know i say every single video we're going to be doing something a little bit different this time we are going to be doing something completely different because we're not doing makeup no 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 no. we are doing diy i have only been in isolation for like two three days three days now but i've had this amazing idea and i don't know if it is the smartest thing i've ever thought of in my life or whether this is the stupidest thing I've ever thought of in my life. Okay, get ready. I am going to paint my carpet. Yes, you heard correctly. I'm going to paint my carpet. Right, here's my logic. Before you start laughing at me, right, here's my logic. So, people paint sofas, people paint fabric, people paint furniture. So I'm going to paint my carpet. So if you would like to see um, whether or not this is an absolute fail <laughs> or whether or not this actually is crazy enough to work, then please keep watching. So here is my dressing room, uh, dressing table, boxes of shoes, nice plain wall, nice boring clothes. And um, that is my filming area. And then here, which is literally all needs clearing out, is drawers full of stuff, shelves full of shoes, boxes, whatever. Here is the mirror. Hello. So, as you can probably see from the video, I could not believe I'm actually showing people this. This is what my floor looks like. So you can see that it's got like loads of stains on it. And I know what you're thinking. You're like, Eve, what on earth are they? It's fake tan, guys. It's fake tan. You ever use the mitt and then you put the mousse on the mitt and then the mousse ball just goes and just goes on the floor. So I kind of thought I've got absolutely nothing to lose because the carpet needs replacing anyway. Um, and it looks horrible anyway, so I can't really do much damage. So I have got paint. This is paint that I already have because I'm in isolation, so I can't go out and get any paint. Um, it's just regular paint. It is black, so hopefully my carpet will be like a grey, like a dark grey, rather than like a black. Um, my plan is, I think, to mix it with some water or something use like a sponge and really rub it into the carpet and um, everyone's like what if your carpet goes dead rough i'm not as long as it's not solid i'm not really bothered i just want it to be looking good you know that's all i'm really bothered about did test a little patch out didn't go great but i'm still gonna do the whole thing anyway so um let's get started <laughs> Okay, guys, here is an update. My gloves, nails have been poking through. So this is what it looks like so far. So I tried to avoid the skirt and boards. Obviously, that didn't work too well. Um, but they need to be painted anyway. So I'm just going to clean them up um, when I finish this little section. Um, I'm doing the room sort of like half and half. So this is the first coat. Obviously, it's not dried yet. It should dry lighter and patchier as well. But for a first coat, that'll be fine. And then hopefully when I go in with a second coat, you can still see the bloody fake tan marks which is the whole reason why I'm doing this but anyway this is how it's going so far I've got all my stuff over there okay so the room is not fully dry but this is what it looks like so far I painted the skirt and board there clean that up so that I can put my dressing table back over there so it is the next morning the floor has started to dry it's still wet in some patches but overall looking good it still feels like carpet let me share you guys um let me tell you what my techniques are um that i have learned from doing this so um basically you want quite a lot of water to your paint so probably like five parts water to one part paint roughly um the kind of wetter it is the softer the paint is the easier it is to cover it doesn't go as patchy i would probably get like a massive jug not a massive jug a massive bucket and mix it all up in one so that it's then going to be the same consistency all over your room. I haven't done that because this is my first time doing it. But that's definitely what I'd recommend doing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to move all my furniture over to the other side of the room. I've still got less than half to go. Not too bad. Um, so yeah, I will do that and then recap at the end and let you guys know how it's going. But so far it's going good. It's not a stupid idea. <laughs> Ok 
okay so that is the other half done i'll show you guys what it looks like went a lot better having the mixture a lot more watered down and i've literally just been using like a regular sponge to do that um i've officially run out of paint <laughs> so um there's like a little bit left but not really enough i can sort of scrape scrape it out so i'm gonna leave it to dry so i'm gonna leave it to dry and um it's probably gonna look different this side than it does that side but hopefully you won't be able to tell but yeah i've run out of paint so this is <laughs> this is as far as it goes um it needs another layer it's going to be a lot lighter than the other side but hey ho bigger things going on in the world right now Okay, so this is the second half done. You can tell it already looks a lot better than the first half. So this this is with it um very dil diluted down. Um, it's not going to blend too well into this. Um, but hopefully I can get something sorted. Hey everyone, it is Eve from the future here. Please ignore what I look like at the moment. Um, so yeah, I've got something to show you. So, um, I actually filmed this video ages ago and completely forgot about it. Um, in the UK, we've had two lockdowns and it's been months and months since I filmed that video. And the funny thing is, is I have actually moved house. And while I'm, my house is empty, whilst I'm cleaning up and everything like that, I have noticed something that I have forgotten to do, which I think you'll all find really funny um but it's not my problem someone else has bought this house now so uh <laughs> yeah so i've just moved this unit out of the way and look i've forgotten to paint this bit of the carpet do you know what's funny as well is i never actually did do a second coat on this um but i 100 percent stand by that if i'd done a second coat on this then i think it would have turned out okay so i never got around to doing the second coat on the floor quite frankly i just couldn't be bothered um, it was a lot of effort to do it the first time round, but if you do the second coat, I guarantee you it's going to look so much better and you're going to actually get a nice result. But I couldn't be honest because I'm moving house and I just, I just couldn't care. It's just not my problem. Um, wait, I can't believe I've forgotten that bit. I wonder what like the new people are going to think when they move in. I wonder if they're watching this. Hi! <laughs> Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm going to leave the video here. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I do loads of different videos, actually, mainly kind of makeup and beauty based. But I thought this one would be funny just showing you guys what quarantine and what lockdown does to people. We've all been through it, haven't we? So, yeah, I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.